Hey guys, and welcome to another part of my little Terraria special. I believe this is part 5. Now, as you guys can probably see, a few things have changed. I'm up here in the arena, as a lot more has actually changed down below. But first off, I think I wanted to point out some of the, well, more obvious ones. My uh, weapons and my armor have changed quite a bit. I've been to the jungle and have had a whole lot of fun. Um, where I left off in the last part, I'll get to in a second, but first I figured I just wanted to kind of show off. I now have the Staff of Regrowth, the Blade of Grass, the Ivy Whip. Oh, that thing is so handy. I love using it. And I finally have a Sun Fury. Oh my god, that thing is awesome. <laughs> the Thorn Chakram. Probably one of my favorite things just to mess around with. I love this thing. It's just... Wee! Wee! <laughs> anyway... Um, just the other day, I finally managed to find a flipper just messing around in some caves. Uh, let's see, got a flower of fire, and I am now equipped in full jungle armor. So, bit has changed, as I said, so let's go ahead, head down, and see the rest. The house has changed a little bit, too. I have since added a new floor, and decided to change the whole thing up and make it completely stone, as I kind of like the way this looks. Also, if you're very observant, you'll probably notice that the NPCs are not quite where they used to be. Well, when I was doing construction, I had to tear up the floor, and, well, they weren't moving as I wanted to, so when I knocked out the floor piece, they fell down to the floor below, and after a few times of just playing through, eventually they reset themselves into their rooms and decided they didn't like where they were before, so... Now we've got the guide up here with the Dryad, who fortunately has decided to give up on her suicidal ways. We all thank her very much for that. Now, as you can also see, I finally have a Hellforge. Not that I can do anything with it yet, as there's something else I want to do in this part, and that is finally go after the Eater of Worlds. So, let's head down a little bit further and I can show you. You guys might notice that there's an extra chest down here. Changed up things a little bit here. I've still got way too many resources that I'm never going to use. And now I finally have a ton of fallen stars, which will come in very handy eventually. And now I've also been spending a lot of time off screen killing the Eye of Cthulhu over and over and over and... Uh, it never gets a hold. Went back to the dungeon and looted a few more decorations. Down here, you might be able to notice I added a new fancy room. This one's got all the new stuff in 104, all the social equipment, got a couple archaeologist hats, fishbowl, the robot hat, and this one's fun, the plumber's hat. Hee <laughs> hee Yeah, you got your little Super Mario hat. See, so over here, we've got a bunch of armor. Uh, the only reason I have these is the spawn actually had a open SMP night, and the guys who got there before me ended up looting the dungeon and killing Skeletron within probably the first 20 minutes of the server being up, so I took advantage and just kind of ran around the dungeon and collected a bunch of bones, and took some of my super spare cobwebs and made up some new necro armor. Can't wait till I can actually get into my own dungeon and finish this set off. Also, I spent so much time in the jungle, I ended up with almost a complete new set of jungle armor. Craziness. Anyway, over here, I'm quite proud of this little area. This is also another design based on one of Avidia's videos. This is basically an infinite water, an infinite lava, and right here in the middle where they meet, an infinite obsidian generator. Now, because, as you can see, I'm still stuck with my gold, because I have not fought the Eater of Worlds yet, I can't do anything with the Obsidian, which I so desperately need to be able to stand any chance of doing anything down in Hell. So, it's really all the changes that have gone on here. I've reorganized a bunch of stuff, but I won't bore you with the details of what's in each chest. Uh... Not too happy about the rabbits in the 104 up, 104 update. 
thanks to the fact that you constantly hear them committing suicide. Uh, I guess we traded the Dryad for rabbits, in that sense. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Make sure. Yeah, still got my hammer. All right. Well, as we are ready to finally go and fight the Eater of Worlds, I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys over in some of the corruption. Well, looks like we are finally starting to come up on the corruption on this side of the map. Last time I showed you guys the corruption on the left side, but this is the corruption on the right side, where I also happen to find all of my jungles. And yes, that was plural. Oh, I love my blade of grass. It's so super powerful. Anyway, yes, that was plural. There actually were two pieces of jungle. The first one was very massive humongous, and a lot of fun to play around in. And then the second one was kind of a smaller, I don't know, I'd say about a third of the size. Let's see. There should be a shadow orb down here. I actually went and marked these things. Anything with at least two torches means there is a shadow orb awaiting. So let's see. I can find this one. This one might have already been taken. I've already knocked out two of them. Yep, okay. Uh, uh, I guess I can kind of explain this. Before I actually managed to... Actually, I guess because I have... Or, no, wait. What am I saying? Before I finally defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, I had actually no way of getting the purification powder or anything else to be able to actually get into some of the demon altars to continue summoning the Eye of Cthulhu by making more of the... I don't know. Whatever those eyeballs were. I ended up getting some dynamite and blasting the crap out of some of this area. Let's see. Is there one down here? I don't know. I don't see any torches. There should be one over here. I know there were a bunch in one area. Yeah, this one. This one's three torches. There were actually two of them down here, if I recall correctly. Yeah, there's one. And I believe the other one is right here. Excellent. Alright, so, same as with part one, I have never actually fought this guy before, so this might be a little tricky, but I think it should be a lot of fun. Run away! <laughs> Alright, hopefully I have enough time to set all this up, grab another... Oh, no, I can't do that just yet. Oh, hurry up, he's coming. Uh. Alright. Hopefully I have enough time to take care of this before he shows up, as this might get a little tricky. Alright, don't need that. Do not want this on my bar, ever, in a boss fight. And after watching myself fight the Eye of Cthulhu a few times during editing, I've learned a few ideas of how to actually handle these fights, and never ever keep anything on your bar but weapons and health items. Alright. Looks like he's still on his way. Fortunately, we had enough time to take care of things. Excellent. Uh-oh, here he comes. Alright, bring it! Go kick your ass, buddy! Yeah! I hope. <laughs> Alright, here he comes. <laughs> I'm up here, smart guy. Ah, there we are. Hello, Eater of Worlds. Now, the tricky thing about this guy is, unlike all the other worms in the game, you can't just knock off one piece, or the head, which is usually the weak part, and kill him. This one, you actually have to defeat every single piece. And every time you defeat a piece, it breaks off into a smaller little worm. Well, I guess he's just as big, he's just shorter. Alright, come on. Huh. Alright, fine, I will come down to you. Is it really so hard to get up here? 
Hmm. Thought for sure it'd be easier up here. Hello. Ah. There we go. He's finally broken into his first piece. Ah. I do like the new design for this fighting arena. As these... I don't know. These uh, wooden planks, I guess. Allow for a much... Whoa. Much easier time of actually hitting them. Hitting, uh... <laughs> I'm being distracted by the enemies. Ah, yes. Now that he's gone for a second... Oh, right. I took off my uh, cloud in a bottle. Ah, uh, there goes my merchant. Yeah. <laughs> I so love this weapon. Uh, wish he'd stop killing all my NPCs, though. Anyway, as I was saying, I like this design because it allows me to use this thing from way up above. Because it'll actually pass through everything, and he seems to have a hard time getting up here to me. Hmm. This fight's going a lot slower than I was expecting. I guess he's just having a hard time getting up here and... Having way too much fun killing my NPCs. Come on, Eater of Worlds, are you scared? <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was a joke! <laughs> uh, come on, buddy. Come on, I swear I won't be that mean this time. See? I didn't have, even have my mouse pointed in the right place. Ugh, silly lag. I think I need to stop uh, frame limiting when I record this game. It's doing some weird things to the game. Wow. Okay, that was just... That was just silly easy. Huh. So, what'd we get? 83 Shadow Scales. 91 Demonite Ore. Ooh. And the Shadow Boots. I think those are boots. Yeah. Very nice. Alright. Well, let's see. Night just recently fell, so let's say we have a little more fun. Hey, zombie. <laughs> uh, lava traps. So funny. All right. You guys might notice I have quite a few of these, so let's see how many I can get through in the rest of the night. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably going to need this on real quick. Ah, uh, that's much better. I really like the fact that items don't despawn, so I can just go ahead and leave all that stuff right where it's at. And it'll come back, and I can come back for it anytime I'm ready. Alright. Alright, Mr. Cthulhu Eyeball. Time for you to die. Woohoo! Uh oh. Okay, so. Hmm. The uh, new design is not so helpful when fighting this guy, it seems. Also, I believe I forgot to. Yep, take off my cloud in a bottle. <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Bet I don't even have to take a single potion while I'm fighting him the first time. Come 
Let me hear. Yeah. That's one. Let's heal up. Get another one out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll also be interesting to test if the whole, if you don't defeat him by morning, that you actually automatically die thing happens or not. Because I've never actually seen it happen. Now, I have in the past, as I've mentioned, fought him a lot. So, I have beaten him twice in one night before, but three, I think, should be very interesting. Yep, meant to go down that time. Uh, and... That's two! <laughs> Alright, lesser healing, meh. Alright. Let's heal up. Number three, bring it on, mother! Ooh, finally! You know, I heard that meteorites are supposed to land after, potentially after every shadow orb you break, so... I'm wondering why it took until I broke the third one and defeated the Eater of Worlds that it finally showed up. Ooh, click, 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 click. Aw, oh, you little cheater. Get back in here. You know, I'm starting to wonder. Maybe I should have brought all four of them. <laughs> Come here. And that's three. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was a lot of fun. And you know what? The night's only half over, so let's get a little reckless here. Number four. This just goes to show you guys just how powerful and just amazingly awesome the most powerful mace in the game, or flail I think it's called, really is. Alright, come on. Come on, I need more demon ore. Can never have enough, right? <laughs> yeah. There you are. Oh, come on, come on. Might be pushing my luck with this one. I like how I don't even really have to move. I mean, sure, he knocks me around a little bit, but... This is still <laughs> just... It's so entertaining. I hope it's at least as entertaining for you guys to be watching. I'm gonna say, what were you stuck? <laughs> ah, jungle armor is so awesome. The only thing better, I believe, is molten. And that's four guys. <laughs> oh, some of the eyeballs got in. Sweet. Ah, so what is our final tally after defeating what was that? Five bosses in one night. 14 gold, 81 silver, 31 copper, 1, 2, 3, and a quarter, I believe, stacks of demonite ore, <laughs> 127 holy arrows, and, oh, what else? Ah, yes, 83 shadow scales. Whew. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, okay, well, this was the mild uh, update and massive boss fight episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again in the next special.